All right, here we go, folks. In Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. I just saw something I didn't see before. Yeah. That little strip mall we just passed. Yeah. There is a facility in there that's all Minnesota State Lottery related. Huh. It's one store by itself. Mm -hmm. uh, the signs on the windows, sign above the door and all that. Yeah. It says Minnesota Lottery. Hmm. And it's got the loon on there. Oh, yeah. I think it's a loon. Yeah, it is. Got that on there. Advertising Minnesota State Lottery. Oh, that's good. It's, it's their own facility. Hmm. I thought that was cool. Yeah, it is. But yeah, before we go off to the next town, show everybody beautiful Detroit Lakes in the summertime. See if we can find surfer girls. <laughs> yeah, surfer girls. Play a little beach boys while we're at them. Oh, yeah. I ain't got no 409, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Just be true to your school. <laughs> yeah. I can try to find a little new school. Ooh, nice. Yeah, this used to be a Perkins off to the right. RV shop now, I think. Yeah. RV sales or something. Yeah. Fifth wheel trailer attachments, whatnot. Yeah, pretty much. And if I get me my little new scoop, you know? Yeah. I'm going to have to find a gal named Rhonda and ask her if she can help me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, don't help me, Rhonda. Yep. Not help, help Rwanda. Help, help Rhonda. Yep. Get her out of my heart. Yeah. Do you remember that from earlier? Yep. Help me, Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. I know everything from Papa to Zita. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. ABBA is the only band you can find in the record store. Whether or not you're dyslexic or not. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> True shit there. Doesn't matter if you're dyslexic or not, you won't find them. Yep. Marco. Polo. <laughs> it's more than a water sport, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, mixed-use commercial building over here. I shouldn't say commercial because it's mixed. I wouldn't mind renting the apartments up on top. Yeah, you'd get a nice view of really the downtown area, plus especially along Washington Avenue around here. Yeah, the lake ain't that far away, really. Oh, no kidding. What is it, about a mile away? Eight if off. something like that. Hardware to the left, Washington Square Mall to the right. Yep. And yes, the Washington Square Mall is your standard small town mall. They got a movie theater in there. Oh, that's right, the movie theater. In the back of the mall. Yep. And you drive around park. Yep. Walk in the movie theaters right there. Yeah, and last time I checked, he still had a Pizza Hut there. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I think it was an actual one you can actually sit down and eat in. Yeah, not that they don't many of them anymore. Yeah, exactly. I think damn near all of them seem to be what delivery and carry out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pizza the Hut. Yeah, remember when Pizza Hut used to be the place to go? Yeah. No, it's a red-headed stepdaughter to every other class. Yeah, pretty much.
Help. Yeah. Oh yeah, past the ballpark. Now just your regular park to the left. They actually have little showers up against the bathrooms there. Yeah. So if you get out of the lake, you can actually shower off. And Which is, I have Marriott over here. Good hobo habitat. And of course the showers are in this area are good for because of swimmer's itch. Yep. Oh yeah, Zorba's popular place for many, many, many years. Did you know these condos up here to the right? Yeah. Not this building, this one here. Yeah. That's actually split property. Huh. Some of the property when you buy that, you get lakefront property over here to the left. Oh nice. Some of the property on the lake over to the left. Huh. Viking Resort Motel. True story. Yep. It is. True story. Yep. Lake Sim. Del Moro. Mexican restaurant. Yeah, I've never tried the place. Del Moro. American Legion. My Kipton, my Kipton. And yes, being at the lakes is highly popular this time of year. Yeah, I guess I was too busy looking at that nice vehicle. Ah, uh, for your, uh, on a little schedule towing a couple of, uh, people on. Yep. Inner tubes. Yep. That'd be fun. Yeah, that's always fun stuff. Oh, yes, it's the same. <laughs> There's a weight limit on them things. <laughs> Unfortunate. I want to show you. I want to show you some property that I'm looking at. Yeah. Like a hundred and seventy-five thousand dollar condo. Oh. Hey, you get lakefront property. Nice. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be possible. Looks like there's a detour up here. Oh, uh, damn. Condos I look at, that I'm looking at again, that I'd like to get. Yeah. Hundred and seventy-five thousand dollar condos. But yeah, you get. Property. Mm. Yeah, we're going to turn around ahead the other way. I'm going down this way. Yeah. Nice to live over here where you're kind of secluded a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. This road here we're coming up to. Yeah. The one we just came off of. Yeah. It goes by the lake, you know? Yeah. It's Clay County 
Highway 22. Huh. I'd like to have that house. Hmm. Garage is right there. Yeah, I hope. Freaking the lake is right there. Taxes, you know, would be high because of the lakefront property. Oh, shit. Yeah. But then if I could afford that property, I wouldn't care about the taxes. So, no kid, no. Yeah. You got money to live there. Taxes aren't the problem. And if you complain about them, all I can say is bite me. Well, if I had the money to live on a lakefront property, I wouldn't complain about no taxes. Oh, hell no. Oh, easily. I don't care if I'm gonna rob a new Yeah, I'd pay for it and I'd smile doing it. Or, or I'll just go into prison, guy. Crackers and water. <laughs> Bread and water. Yeah, I'll live like a penthouse popper. Yeah, you got the good life, but you wouldn't even know it because you're too busy starving. Yeah. Well, I can see it's worth a gun when you need one. Oh, no kidding. That sucker's just sitting right there. Yeah. Wonder what kind of penalty there is for shooting off a gun in city limits. I don't know, I should ask James about this. <laughs> I think he got in trouble for shooting off a gun in the cul de sac wall. Oh, that's right. Wasn't he trying to shoot at squirrels or something? Yeah, he was shooting squirrels out of a tree. <laughs> Planned on skinning them and cooking yeah. them. Yeah, asked him why he was doing it. Of course, he had a couple of drinks in him. Yeah. He swear I got enough money to go to the damn grocery store so I'm getting my supper out of the tree. <laughs> so they ticketed his ass for firing off a gun. City freaking whatever. Yeah. What? They couldn't do that somewhere private. What happened? I don't even know if I want to repeat what I just saw. I think I missed whatever you saw. How damn irritating. What were they doing? Husband and wife sitting there, right? Yeah. With their little, like, four-year-old kid. Yeah. Letting her kid run around the beach stark-ass naked. Ah. No damn diaper on, no pants, no underwear, no shirt. The kid's sitting there with ass cheeks hanging out, freaking flaunt what the kid's got. Glad I did. Can't you put some damn clothes on that little mother? Glad. Son of a gun. Glad I didn't catch that. I, I you... looked over just enough. I'm like, really, people? You can't put clothes on that kid? Yes. Yeah, look to Sam Hell, you're out in public. Yeah, it's like, all I can say is I'm glad that did not make it on the. I can't unsee that. <laughs> I want to take a damn freaking iron to my damn eyes, a hot iron. Like soldering iron or something. I want to freaking burn my eyes up. Hot piece of coal. Anything. Mm. I can't unsee that. Yeah, no way in hell. That me all freaked out. Ugh. The last thing I want to be seeing some little kid sitting there running around stark ass naked. 
<laughs> Ooh, bear butt, bear butt. I'm you don't even. Really... All I can say, I ain't watching PBS. Yeah, you don't need to catch bear ass on TV anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I thought PBS was cool. <laughs> Put some damn clothes on that kid. <laughs> yeah. Some bitch is getting all worked up now. Ah, Can't public stand. library. Can't stand it when parents do that. Yeah. One thing if the kids wearing a diaper or something, but like not wearing the damn thing. Uh, ain't no, that ain't no damn nudist beach. Yeah, Rick would have loved Put some it. Some damn clothes on that kid. Yeah, Rick definitely would have loved that. I mean, did I say Rick? I mean, pedal, pedal, pedal. Wasn't he the one took care of Pinocchio? Hmm. Yeah, he Wasn't it Petal the one that took care of him? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> or that's Chip Petal, never mind. I think you're trying to say he's the Petal. <laughs> mm -hmm. And or the therapist. <laughs> that's a long way of saying the rapist. Yeah. You just don't want to get me started about Raggedy Ann dating uh, Pinocchio. Sits on his face and goes, Lie to me some more, baby. <laughs> yeah, long as Pinocchio uh, long as Pinocchio is not a motivational speaker. <laughs> you are, and you are, and you're a winner. That <laughs> <laughs> <Damn> bullshit. <laughs> Damn liar. <laughs> Something to somebody. Yeah, sure, just don't eat me. <laughs> they allow this to happen in Kentucky. Yeah, they allow, they allow a lot of shit to happen there. <laughs> oh. Some of it's cool, some of it isn't. They just don't move to Louisiana. They really allow a lot of shit going on there. Crop fishing. <laughs> Yeah, that might be one of the nicer things. Yeah, do they have a key season town? Ah, crap. Ah, I forgot about it. I was going to go get gas for something. Yeah. I was supposed to go to key season. Uh, flippity gibbet. I don't know if there's a gas station up here somewhere. Uh, just enough to get us by. Oh, like this is a senior moment there. Yeah. Uh, antique mall. You know what happens when you run out of gas on the highway? You pull over. Yeah, and you sit a while. Yeah. Then you find a look. Then you find that lucky cup that's got a gallon or two of gas on them. <laughs> it's willing to help you out. <laughs> yeah. Until totally then you're camping out with no gas. Yeah, pretty much. Budget post in. Car 54 in there. 
Uh, How the hell is it cheaper here than Dilworth? Yeah, what the hell? It's like 20 cents cheaper here. Yeah, what the hell? I don't know how that works. Yeah, no shit. In order for me to get cheap gas, I either gotta go here or to that freaking case. He's out on 40. What the hell is it? 47 to 30 South Street in Fargo? Something like that. What the hell? Wrong tone of gas, 20 cents higher. Yeah. 4.49 a gallon for auto. Yep. See you later, folks.